Hi family, welcome to my master bedroom transformation video. In this video, I'm going to be taking my bedroom from this to this right before your eyes. I'm going to be designing this room from start to finish and I'm also going to be telling you where I got a lot of the pieces from. So if you want to know how you can turn your bedroom from basic to luxurious, then continue to watch. <laughs> All right, family, without wasting any time, let's get right into the video. First, let me show you a quick overview of what the room looks like. This is, as I said, my primary bedroom. This room is one wing of the house. It has multiple sections, but I'm going to be focusing on just the primary bedroom today. As you can see, a lot of the furnitures are covered up. That is because I have not been sleeping in this room because it looks like this. <laughs> so I covered up all of my furniture and I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to get everything I need. And I finally do. So let's get this room together. All right, family. So the first thing we're going to be doing here is getting the bed ready, at least starting on the bed. This sheet set is from Ross. As you can see, it's $20, $20.99. But this is an amazing set, y'all. Sometimes you can find some really good things from Ross. You just have to have an eye for it. Anyway, as you can see here, the box springs are black and I don't know how else to cover it. So I'm using a sheet, an old sheet to cover it up. I probably should have used a fitted sheet, but I used a flat sheet. That I ended up changing later, but for now, this is what's gonna work, okay? So all I'm doing here is trying to fit the sheet and trying to figure out how I can keep this thing covered up because once I decorate the whole room, the black is going to stand out and it's going to look really weird. So yeah, I'm covering it up. So if you have this problem or a similar problem, the best thing to do is to cover it up with either a sheet or a fitted sheet. Like I said, I would up for a fitted sheet because I did have a hard time trying to keep the flat sheet on. <music> we're getting on to our set here <laughs> as you can see i'm fighting with the fitted sheet i don't know how to fold these things i need to google it or youtube it but this is one of the hardest pieces of linens to fold i have my airbnb as well sometimes i go there and decorate or clean and again i have the same problem but anyway we have the fitted sheet on now we're putting on the flat sheet again another issue i had was the fact that the sheet that I covered up the um, box springs with is actually whiter than the actual sheet that I'm using. So the sheet set that I'm using is kind of an off-white creamish color. It's very soft and it's really, really good quality. The bed is done for now, so let's move on to these nightstands. These nightstands are very, very heavy. They have a lot of functions, and I'll show you that maybe in an upcoming video. Today, we're just decorating, okay? These nightstands are very, very heavy. When I say heavy, I can't lift these things up. I have to drag them. As you can see here, I'm fighting with them. They are really, really good quality i like quality over quantity and if you guys know if you have followed me for a while you'll also know that i've had them for a while this set is the perfect size for this room because the room is huge as i said this bedroom has its own wing of my house and the bedroom itself has several different compartments and these are king size furnitures and the the bed stands the bed itself and the dresser which i'll show you here in a minute they are all really large so if i can give you one tip that is one tip i would give you when you go furniture shopping please make sure you measure your room because the furniture can look like normal sizes at the warehouse or at the showroom but then you get it to your house and it completely fills up the room Let's move on to our lamps here. These lamps are so gorgeous. I love, love, love these. And if you can't already tell, from my entire house and my bedroom, I'm going for a more earth tone, natural color. I'm not really into trendy furnitures anymore. I don't think I ever have been. 
I like to get neutral furnitures and I say this a lot, a lot. I like to get neutral furnitures because I can switch it up every season, any season. I can change up the colors, but my furnitures, I don't have to change. And once everything comes together, you'll see what I'm talking about here. I can change the whole room for winter, for spring, for fall without changing out my big pieces. Let's move on to the bed set. I've also had this blanket set for a long time. I'll do a video showing you guys everything and where I got everything from. Today, as I said, we're just decorating. So this set is a king size set as well. This set I've also had for a while. I think I got it when I originally got the bed. This set is huge, it's comfortable, and the quality is amazing. I have washed these so many times and they come out amazing every time. Of course, I have to iron and steam it to get it to look this good, but the quality, like I said, is amazing and it matches my bed so, so well. And as you can see here, the sheet set that I got from Ross matches perfectly. <laughs> so anyway, this set was a three-piece set. It came with a blanket and two pillowcases. <laughs> So here is another three piece set. I'm going for a lot of neutrals, but my accent color is gray. So I have this three piece gray set as well. So watch how I combine everything together. So for the cases, I know you guys are gonna ask, these are king size pillowcases and pillows as well. Again, this bed is huge and it also takes up a lot of space. I know a lot of you were asking me about the bed. Again, I'm going to make a, maybe a tour or the next video. This video is going to have a part two. So I'm going to detail, you know, where I got the bed from and the size. But as far as the size is a king size bed, it's what you call a sleigh bed. So as you can see from the headboard and the footboard, it also takes a lot of space because it's kind of bent in some way. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but yeah. It, it's a pretty big bed, so it requires a big room. All right, so this is the blanket from the three-piece gray set. I'm just putting this to the foot of the bed. This is my trick to make my bed look like a luxury hotel bed or just well designed like something you would see in a showroom i like to layer my beddings and i'm going to show you how to do that here if you guys want me to do a detailed video on how you can do this and walk you through step by step i can do that as well so comment below detailed video all right so the next pieces here are these gorgeous gorgeous pillows that i got from home goods these pillows are really really nice they're really soft and they have this shine to it you can't really tell if it's more of a tannish neutral color versus a gray color that is perfect because it brings the two different types of bedding together all right so i'm going for a more eclectic look on the bed as far as the pillowcases go so i'm not doing everything matchy matchy that's the worst thing you want to do because it just looks like you got it out of a i don't know it looks weird so you want to go with different shades different colors and different textures and that's what i'm doing here as you can see the pillowcases are not super matchy matchy but they coordinate with everything that i have going on you'll see me pull and tug on this bed a lot that is because i'm trying to get it as perfect as possible especially to cover up the part of the um baseboard i'm sorry the box springs that i covered with the white sheet again i should have used a sheet that matches the bed itself all right, family, let's get handy. This is my handy dandy tool bag. I have become Mrs. Handy Girl, okay? After being around a lot of contractors and flipping some houses and doing a lot of home decor myself, I have learned a few things about being handy. So let's get this mirror up. This mirror is an amazing piece. Again, I'm not going for trendy, trendy. I'm going more for the high-end pieces. But these pieces are so nice and they look so expensive in person they are amazing y'all anyway this is how i hang up my mirror i just measure the mirror where the hooks are and then use that measurement to measure the walls and then i use my um nail and my hammer i take the hammer okay 
and I hammer the nail in a little bit and then I take my screwdriver and screw it in versus just hammering the nail through the wall. This gives it a lot more security and it helps the mirror stay in longer versus again just hammering the nail. So that is what I'm doing here. Honestly family, I have just been buying these things. I have a vision in my head and I have just been buying these things and keeping them and y'all know that I like to decorate on camera so whatever happens on camera is what you see y'all. I'm just grabbing these things with the vision in my head and I'm going with the flow so <laughs> please bear with me if anything looks out of whack. All right, let's get this mirror up. As you can see, I'm going for more wood tones. Nothing too shiny, shiny. <laughs> I like the shiny, shiny. Don't get me wrong. But like I said, I just like it to look more um, mature and um, more high end. All right, so the two mirrors are up. Let's go ahead and put on the middle piece of, I guess, the decor pieces. I was not smart when I did this. I made up the bed before hanging this up. So <laughs> I had a hard time putting the holes in. And I also had to step on the bed that I already made to put this up. But again, this is what happens when you're doing everything on camera. It becomes crazy at times. But it was really, really easy because, again, I used the same trick to measure the holes on the art piece and then just measure the walls that way. All right, family, let's move on to this side of the room. This is another side of the room that I really love. This is behind the door. When the door is closed, I have this big space here. So I was wondering what I should put there and I got the perfect idea to put a mirror there. This is where I do all of my outfit of the day, get dressed with me, all of these things. And you're gonna see a lot more of these videos now, now that I've actually decorated the room. But yeah, this mirror not only opens up the place a lot more, but it also provides a place where I can get dressed and you know see my whole outfit again I'm using my same trick I'm using my measuring tape to measure the holes or the hooks on the mirror and then using the tape to measure that to the wall and then just using my nail and hammer to hammer it in All right, our mirror is up. It looks perfect, y'all. I'm using a silver mirror because I don't want to go too crazy with the wood tones in here. And as I said, you do want to switch up your pieces so it doesn't look matchy-matchy. The matchy-matchy furniture set is out of style, y'all. It's out of style. So you want to mix and match everything. That is what's in right now. So I'm just using my good old Windex to clean off all of the mirrors to get it nice and shiny. <laughs> For the side mirrors, I wanted to do taller, longer ones like they do at um, Restoration Hardware, but I feel like everyone is doing that these days and I just wanted to be myself and do my own thing. And I think this combination of the two mirrors and the gold piece in the middle is perfect. Not only does it bring out everything, it just looks so well thought out. And that was the gold. <laughs> on to the dresser the dresser as i was telling you this dresser is huge and it is heavy this dresser it takes at least two to three very strong men to move this dresser it is so heavy and it's custom y'all i'm gonna show you all some really cool features of the dresser especially on the inside for your jewelry your perfumes and all of those things i'm gonna show you all that later but yeah it is super super heavy and as you can see here i have my tv up yes i do have a tv in my room there is a little sitting area here in my room that i'll show you a little later that's gonna be the part two of this bedroom uh design but yeah, I spent a lot of time in here, so I need a TV in here. Alright, so as you can see, I have this cute little nook here slash corner. I'm just going to put a um, planter and a fake plant in here because I do need some greenery in here. I have two of these. There is one in the living room and I have the other one in here. And this is my plant. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set it in there. 
all right so let's dress up the dresser <laughs> i'm gonna keep it really nice and simple so i'm setting this gold piece here to bring the gold from the other side and this is my tray of perfume i do collect perfume and this is just some of them these are the ones i'm using right now and this is one of my favorites right now it smells so so good oh my goodness <laughs> Anyway, I'm bringing a lot more greenery on this side of the dresser too. Again, I need a little bit of life in here. So this is how I do it, y'all. And I can't raise or grow a plant to save my life. So I usually just go for the fake one and hope for the best. <laughs> but they look good every time. So yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn on this candle for the very first time. I have been waiting to turn these candles on. Oh my goodness, I love, love, love candles. And when it starts to smell good when I'm cleaning, that is when I know I'm really doing something. <laughs> All right, moving back on to the nightstands here again. I'm going to decorate them a little more. I have these two piece set from Amazon. They are just like two people, two lovebirds. <laughs> I have the white one and the black one and they look amazing and they're very, very modern, but simple. All right, moving on to the other side. Again, I'm bringing a lot more greenery. So I'm going to set this planter here and I'm also going to set this nice tray here as a catch-all tray so what I normally do is at night I like to take my earrings off so I'll just put a pair of earrings in here um, but to be honest I don't leave my good earrings in here I'm just doing this for display because if I leave it here Nadia will grab it and I'll never see it again and these are my favorite pair of earrings so yeah I'm not playing those games with her <laughs> Anyway, let's move on to the rug at the foot of the bed. I did place this rug here because it makes the bed look even more luxurious and more expensive looking. <laughs> it's a really nice rug. I've also had this rug for a while. I've put it in multiple different spaces. Again, quality over quantity. When you get quality things, you can use them over and over and over. But yes, I have this rug here. And again, I'm pulling and tugging on the bed sheets. <laughs> All right, moving on to this corner, I have another planter here with my, um, I forget what tree this is. I think this is a money tree. I'm not sure. But yes, this corner, again, the room is really big, so it has multiple different corners. I just try to find ways to dress up the corner. All right, family, let's move on to one of my favorite part, which is vacuuming. This part is so satisfying for me. I don't know. It just does something to my heart. <laughs> And it also tells me that I'm getting close to being done. So yeah, I love, love to see the vacuum tracks. It makes me feel like the room is freshly clean. And yeah, it's just, I like it. As you can see, I have carpet in my room. I wanted to change the flooring to hardwood, but I decided not to because this is my bedroom. I want it to be as comfortable as possible. I did change the flooring in a lot of the spaces in the house as you guys know um but i decided to keep the carpet in here maybe i'll change my mind later but for now it makes the room feel and look very very comfortable so i decided to leave it all right so this is one of my favorite parts of the room this is a little sitting nook in the room again this space is big it doesn't look as big on camera but it's a pretty big space you can fit a small sectional in here you can fit a large sofa or you can fit two chairs so this is going to be my little sitting nook when i'm not sitting on my bed this is going to be where i'm going to have my coffee my tea um, maybe edit sometimes so i did go ahead and measure the space here of where i want to put my curtain but the whole time i wasn't recording and i didn't realize that so i was so mad when I saw that I wasn't recording but good thing Nadia ran into the room and distracted me and that's how I was able to realize that I wasn't recording <laughs> but anyway I have the hooks on and I'm just getting the curtains ready to be put on and this is your little niece y'all she has a princess dress on and the princess dress actually has lights on it these drapes are actually 108 inches tall the room is actually a hundred and I think nine or ten inches so the room is pretty tall So I'm just using my step stool here again to hang up my drapes. These drapes I got from Amazon. The quality is amazing. It looks and feels amazing and it's completely black out. 
so i love 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 it i have actually used this drape before um in other places in the house they're kind of pricey but not as pricey as you would think so i guess your niece wanted to come say hi so she just came in here to either distract me or to help me either way she's having fun and i love that for her <laughs> So the drapes are up look how nice and classy this looks this is the look i was going for i'm still deciding if i want to put the sheer um what's it called curtains in here but i love 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 the way it looks right now it is so bright and life like or like sunny in here during the day oh my goodness the lighting in here is just amazing it feels really good and that is why i said i like to spend a lot of time in my room because it really really is nice and look at these drapes y'all they match the wall color so perfectly you can almost not tell the difference between the wall and the drapes and that again was on purpose <laughs> but i could have left the windows like that but i wanted to add some drapery to just you know class it up a little bit you know just spice it up <laughs> So moving back on to the bed here, I'm putting the final piece that's going to tie everything together. This piece I also got from Amazon. This is an amazing piece of blanket. This I don't use as a blanket at all. This is purely for decor purposes. And as I told you, I love, love to layer my blankets and sheets. Look how nice this blanket looks. And it's very heavy, y'all. It's very heavy. And this I don't think is... um washer safe so again i don't use it as a blanket i only use it for decor purposes again still tugging on my bed <laughs> moving on to the foot of the bed here we definitely cannot have a bed without a sitting area at the foot of the bed so i got the perfect piece to fit here this bench not only ties in the bed it also ties in the two mirrors Alright family, so this is almost the end of the video y'all. As you can see here, everything looks so nice. I am so so satisfied with how this room turned out. I'm actually going to do a part 2 to the video and that's where I'll be setting up the sitting area. It's going to be so nice and cozy in here. I'm also going to be telling you where I got a lot of the stuff from, especially the ones I can remember. I have had a lot of these pieces for a while and I also didn't order a lot of them online so make sure that you do not miss the part two to this video all right family this is what my bedroom looks like for now <laughs> oh my goodness i am so in love with this room now this is literally my favorite room now i spend a lot of time in here i have completely abandoned the guest room that i've been sleeping in <laughs> this room is literally my room now this room is given exactly what i wanted it to give which was grown classy timeless and cozy <laughs> if you did like the video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up also please comment your favorite part and please please share the video if you're new to the channel please make sure to hit the subscribe button and also turn on your bell notification so you never miss another video Thank you all again so, so much for your love and support. I love you all, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.